Harassment. Why is it harassment? harassment. You're harassing the customers, they don't. We're not harassing anyone. Kids don't want to watch this. Do What's not harass people. These animals will be sent to a gas chamber. You don't give a We are going to have to ask to leave. Are we committing a criminal offence right now? Do we have to force transparency and show as many of your customers as possible the torture chambers that supply you? 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 Customers of M&S, customers of Tesco's, customers of Aldi. We believe that you deserve transparency. Here, you see products made from pigs, but the supermarket will not tell you that they have been tortured to death in CO2 gas. Tesco know that Tesco have done nothing to inform their customers. When you buy bacon, when you buy pork chops, when you are buying ham for your children, you are supporting the literal torture of sentient animals. Like this gentleman here, happy to support torture. Some people are not. When you purchase these products, you are donating to animal torturers. They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about the animals. They care about money. This might be the first time you've heard this, and that should concern you, because it's been happening for decades. Why haven't the supermarkets let you know? Because it's an inconvenient truth for them. If you watch Pignor on Amazon Prime, you will see the transparency that you deserve. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. It's coming to see are you me. a manager? Uh, yeah. well, basically, we're showing... Uh, I left these cameras in a UK pig gas chamber, uh, the first footage ever of its kind, and uh, the pigs are screaming terror, beg for mercy, and being tortured in the CO2 gas. It's a scientific fact. Every scientist agrees that gas is aversive. You see they're trying to escape the gas. The escaping behaviour shows that they're in suffering, they're suffocating the acidic nature of CO2, like if you burped a can of coke out your nose, it burns them, it causes extreme terror to them. And this is 90% of pigs in the UK. It's not a M&S alone issue, it's an issue with entire pig production. We've asked supermarkets to give transparency to customers. We believe the customers deserve to make an informed decision. If you look at the packets of the meat, it says outdoor bread RSPCA assured. I um, would appreciate if you could do this outside. No, you didn't even answer what I just said. I just literally told you that they're being tortured to death. Where is your humanity? Where is your compassion? I can see. You're a manager here. Don't you care that these animals are being sold under your watch? So why, why are you going, I just want you to do this outside. No care at all. We're just trying to... This is the problem. Um, you're trying to be peaceful. They are being tortured and being sold in your supermarket. No, you don't. You don't care. You don't give a shit. It's clear to me that you do not care. Yeah. Listen to their screams, they're suffering to death, these poor angels. And you should be disgusted. If you're not prepared to... Pigs are being tortured in CO2 gas, and the most this manager has for me is could you please do this outside, this is uncomfortable. If it's uncomfortable for the manager, how uncomfortable is it for these pigs who are literally being tortured to death? How uncomfortable is it for the pigs? If anyone in this supermarket cares about the suffering of animals, I bet you most people in this supermarket do care and they deserve to know. The customer deserves to know that M&S, Tesco, Sainsbury's, other large supermarkets are supplying them with the body parts of animals who have been tortured in CO2 gas. Some of these products have RSPCA assured logos on them, but the RSPCA also assure pigs killed in CO2 gas. They're torturing the pigs, man. 90% of them in the UK are going this gas. So co-op and all the other supermarkets, uh, all the big supermarkets, when they buy bacon products, they're being tortured in this gas. And they, they don't want to tell the public. The RSPCA put their logo on this. Sure. It. Approve it. Approve it, bro. The government getting tucked off it, isn't it? It's well, the it's RSPCA late. make a markup on the product sold, so they get money. And the, they're the pig screams we recorded as well. But I made this documentary called Pignorance on Amazon Prime at the moment. You check it out, brother. All right, bless you, man. Hope you have a good day, man. That's a gas chamber there. The industry tell everyone that this is humane and it's the most humane method of killing. But uh, so I left the camera, secret cameras inside the cages of the, the CO2 gas chamber. And this is, we found pigs are obviously being tortured to death because the CO2 is like a can of Coke. You know, that burning, if you drink too much beer or whatever and you burp it through your eyes, it's very, uh, it's acidic. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see them screaming and they're trying to escape and in terror before they're stunned actually. But this is most pigs in the UK, free, free range, organic. So we're just letting the customer know, so they know what they're paying for because they're donating to animal torturers, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think the RSPCA think about this? 
Well, you think we do something like that, don't you? What if I told you they put their logo on pigs that have been killed in the CO2? Cool. They put RSPCA Assured logo on it. Yeah. Do you think that misleads people? Oh, well, definitely, yeah, yeah, too much, yeah. Good God. That's why we're trying to be transparent for the supermarkets, because they're not, no one else is being transparent. So the customer, we think, whatever choice they make, they deserve to make an informed choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, I understand what you're saying, yeah. People like to treat customers like they are fools, or like they are stupid, and like they're not adults who can make their own decisions. Why aren't they letting you know the truth about what happens to these pigs in the gas? Is it because the pig killing industry will lose money? Because maybe the customer will decide to choose something else? The supermarkets are lying to you by omission. They're omitting certain facts. If you want to be certain that you're not donating to animal abusers, then buy the plant-based products. You can purchase other products from the same supermarkets which don't involve the bodies of animals and that way you can be sure no matter the welfare category these animals will be sent to a gas chamber the ones who don't get gassed are terrorized cornered electrically shocked in the skull and stabbed to death when you purchase those products when you buy animal products period you are donating to industries that torture animals and violate their right to exist. Yeah, you're um, harassing the customers. They don't we're not pay. harassing anyone. The customers don't want to pay because you're harassing them. We're not harassing them, actually. We're just providing transparency. If you don't care about pigs being tortured, that's your prerogative. But some people actually do. Some people do. It's not harassment to just speak the truth. When you pay for pig products, you are literally donating money to animal torturers. You wouldn't donate to an animal charity that tortured animals. So why would you donate your money to the meat industry? Not happy, mate. Are you okay? No, harassment. Why is it harassment? Harassment. Why? Okay. How do you think the pigs feel in the gas chamber, though? Don't tell me. I've been vegetarian for 40 years. She's trying to preach to me what I already know. Why are you know. upset with us raising awareness for animals? I'm not. Have a chat with you? But these ways are doing it. What, what, you do what's not harass people. My not, wife no, wants to buy bacon. Why? Whether it's your... Why don't you educate her, though? Why don't you say that... Does she know they've been tortured, though? She knows all this. She knows they've been tortured? Oh, yes. We're just raising awareness with people who don't know, but that's I'm it. I'm just saying, for certain dietary requirements... Not I'm not harassing, we're just... We're just you are, we're just, she is. I think he's fine, I don't think he's... Can we just have a quick chat with you? Is that all right? I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah, no, it's we're fine. allowed to have a conversation. It's not about that, it's not about that. Um, but we are going to have to ask you to leave now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're already see. getting ready to leave, actually. Yeah, sure that's brilliant. Yeah, Can we agree that we... Hey, brother. How are you doing? You're right. Good, brother. Good to see you again. Thank you're, you, mate. How are you doing? Good, thank you, mate. Just letting people know about pigs being tortured in gas chambers. Yeah. Yeah, no. You've done your way, so you yeah. move on now. Yeah. It's fair, it's fair enough, that, isn't it? No, it is fair enough. No, I'm, I'm, I just assumed that tr trespass was a civil matter and not, nothing to do with you but until... You've been called here, okay, because of that reason, because obviously we don't want you in the store. But yeah, I just thought it was up to them to remove us, that's all. They really haven't tried that much. And, and, and but aggravated, tres aggravated trespass is a criminal matter. I assumed that their security should remove us, and if we resist that, then we become aggravated trespassers. Call us. So yeah, I know, but you, that's, a, that's a civil matter, isn't yeah, it? We're not aggravated at the moment, are we? We've let you no, raise no, no. Are we aggravated at the moment? Time. You know, that's, oh, all, well. that's all I'm wondering. But don't, be, don't be pissed off, man. I'm not pissed off. There's only certain things you're allowed to do and certain things we're allowed to do. You're supposed to tell us when you're filming us. You haven't done that and I haven't called you out for it. Because you're supposed to let the member of the public know that you're filming. Been on since I've been yeah, no, but you're supposed to let me know when you address someone. Hey, my name is blah 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 from this police. I didn't call when you I out first, on that. When I first tried approaching you, you and now you're trying to tell us that we were doing a civil I don't thing. Want to get into a confrontation no, no, we're not having a conflict. But you're you're getting pissed off over over literally doing your job, which is to uphold our legal right to protest. If we yeah, become, we're not if we start to, come, at all. We're not yeah, that at all. We're just and if we commit a crime, it. then you should warn us that we're about to commit a crime or that a crime is about, about to be committed. Your job is not to... to be reasonable. Wait, I am reasonable. That's all, right? Because obviously being around... Food yeah, you're here to mediate. If, and if you, you, that, their job is to remove trespassers. So, yeah. 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 Pigs are being tortured in CO2 gas chambers. The supermarkets will not give you the transparency you deserve. Some people don't like to hear pigs screaming to death in their own shit. But unfortunately, we are forced to bring that out. Alright. Come everyone. Hello everyone. Continue eating meat. We're just letting you know that when you purchase bacon, you're supporting animal torturers. Bacon all the way. Bacon all the way. Bacon all the way. Bacon all the way.
When you buy bacon, you are supporting the literal torture of sentient animals who are just like dogs. Because, because pigs are tortured in CO2 gas. So anyone who supports that is supporting the literal torture of sentient beings. If you don't want to support torture, if you have a soul, if you have compassion, if you have empathy, then extend that to other sentient animals. Show them their footage. I filmed this footage with my cameras. You deserve to know though. You deserve to know though, whatever you do. They go into this, this cage here. And when they hit the gas, and when they hit the gas, they start screaming and begging for mercy, trying to escape. It's torturing them. It's against the law. It's torturing the animals, see? It's against the law. It's the first footage of its kind. I had to go into this live gas chamber to put the cameras in there. Screaming in agony. If they were dogs, you would care. He doesn't care about animals. He doesn't, Ryan doesn't care about animals. He's a selfish person. This person, you, you watched it at least. At least you watched it. You, yeah, but you deserve to at least know. And everyone deserves to know, but they're hiding the truth from the public, true? It's not about you guys, you, you just work here. It's about the Tesco CEOs not being transparent with customers, right? Have a good day, mate. Watch Pignorant on Amazon Prime and get transparency, get the truth. What do you think about this? I think he's, he's just, What do you think? You think it's stupid? That's horrible. That's horrible. Yeah. What well, he should be doing this. Why not? But he's just. You're in the middle of Manchester. But he's, ran, he's just raising awareness. I get, I guess what I raise awareness, mate. But people are trying to go out and doing shopping all for the day, and they don't. How would they? Know, how would they find out? Though? Kids, don't kids don't want to watch this. But you know that the that's a good point. You're kids making a strong point. This. You're making a strong point. So, why, so why, why, why do parents feed it to them? Parents have things to anyone. Yeah, they are. It's ninety percent of all pigs are killed in CO two yeah. gas chambers. Well, listen to me, mate. So you wouldn't know that before if we didn't if we weren't here. So you, yeah, yeah, of course. You can charge. Yes, I am. Can I speak to you? Yeah, 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 of course. You can speak to me here. Okay, but the Arndale is a private centre. Are you recording me without telling me? I'm in a public place. So I don't need to tell you. Yeah. No, but you. It's in your policy. You have to tell people. You're a public servant. You're a public servant. We're allowed to. Right, so the Arndale is a private premises and they're requesting that you vacate the premises. Well, they haven't asked me. It's a civil matter. Are you the police officer? Are we committing a crime? No. We, uh, one second, what's your name? Are we committing a criminal offence right now? I'm not saying that, I'm telling you the Arndale. Well, why don't they address me? This is a, this is a civil matter. Yeah, is it? A... Okay. First of all, you're both recording me without letting me know. And, but you're a public servant. You say, excuse me, my name is blah, blah, blah. Not grab me by the shoulder, which is incredibly rude. No, you didn't. You grabbed me by the shoulder. We don't like tyrants either. We are here to, to we like police who uphold our right to protest. You know, yeah, yeah, but not people who run around filming people without to letting them know. Thank you, mate. And it's just security manager for protest Randale. Yeah. Can we ask the protest moves on now? Yeah, we can go outside if you want. It was peaceful, but then it's been escalating. I'm not saying it's... That's not escalating. I'm not saying it's... This officer escalated me by filming me, trying to entrap me, grabbing me by the shoulder and not upload... We're not committing a crime. You're going to tell them to remove trespassers because it's a civil matter up until we're committing a criminal offence. Yeah. So you tell you boss people around thinking they have to listen to you when you're going outside of your jurisdiction. Ask this gentleman to remove trespassers from his property. True. Have I spoken a lie? He's asked you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have no intention to cause any harassment, no alarm or distress. We're just raising awareness. But as seeing as you've uh, come up to me and asked us to leave, I will leave. That's not his job, actually. No, it's not his job. He, can you tell him not to grab members of the public? Yeah, and, and also, when you're filming a member of the public, you should let them know, because it's kind of like, why would you just start filming someone when you're a public servant? We do it for our safety and for So the same as you have a camera on there for You have a policy and you're a public servant. I'm a member of the public. We're allowed to film you without telling you. True? That's to protect our rights. So you have to uphold our rights, not tell us, like, not grab me by the shoulder, film us without permission. Oh, without, without letting us know, not permission. We don't need, you don't need permission. And ask the person who's supposed to ask us to leave, to, to, to leave. True? So thank you, thank you for being respectful and asking us to leave. It was more about Audi, but we didn't realize it would come out to here, to the whole supermarket. We're just talking about 
Audi uh, selling pigs that have been tortured in gas chambers. That's it. But we didn't know there was an exit out here, so we were supposed to just be in the supermarket. But take, have a good day, gentlemen. Thank you very much. No worries. I'd like to give a little briefing about why I'm focusing on gas chambers. People are actually curious why, and I've researched this topic for many, many years. And the industry do not actually have a financially viable alternative on the table. And they have been searching for 20 years. This is the Achilles heel of the pork industry. People say, well, why are you focusing on the gas chambers and the torture? Is that not like a bit welfareist? I'm not actually a welfareist. I'm not actually someone who like will strive as a goal, as an end goal, to have animals being treated better on farms. My goal is like to expose what they're doing and to ask people to be vegan and to ask for fundamental rights for animals. Because when humans don't have rights or when animals don't have rights, that's where you get the welfare issues. It's a lot harder to you know, justify torturing a sentient being when they have fundamental rights. But the reason these animals keep getting tortured, keep having these horrible welfare things happening to them is because they don't have rights. But with the gas chambers, it's 90% of all pigs. They would never go back to electric stunning. They would never do it because they just can't build enough slaughterhouses to keep up with the throughput of a gas chamber. So this is the most economically viable system for them. The CO2 gas is the cheapest, uh, most readily available gas. The other gases s slow down their throughput of the slaughterhouses. The slaughterhouses will not play ball with it. So because they won't change the gas, and that would never be my goal anyway, the more we raise awareness about this, the only option is for people to stop buying their products. We're actually encouraging boycotts. At the same time, the RSPCA are putting their logo of assurance on pigs being tortured. Use the word torture, it's torture. There's no other way to explain it. So now people distrust the RSPCA, which they should, because the RSPCA are making people comfortable with purchasing animal products. And they can never be at all farms at once. They have one inspection a year, not even by a, a, not even by a vet, just by one of their inspectors. So the RSPCA are humane washing the meat industry and the dairy industry and the egg industries, which is egregious and disgusting, really. So when people find out that pigs are being tortured in gas, CO2 gas, and the RSPCA put their logo on that, then what you've done is you've caused massive distrust with, within the meat industry welfare movement. And people will stop being comfortable with, with buying higher welfare meat and maybe instead think, well, I can't trust any of it. I've got to be a vegan because the welfare movement has, this the best the welfare movement can come up with, they failed the animals. And this was supposed to be a welfare increase. That's what it, they, they say. It's got nothing to do with that. So that's the logic of attacking the gas chamber. It's the Achilles heel. If any activist wants to know the weakest spot of the pork industry, it's the gas chambers. They've got nine, I think about nine gas chambers operating. If, if even a couple of those slowed down for a couple of like a week, a week or so, it would create a backlog and a huge effect on the, the pig killing industry down the line. So many farms rely on gas chambers to slaughter their pigs. When Pilgrim shut down in Manchester, that caused actually a big effect on the pork industry. And it could be one of the reasons why pork production went down a little, but the NPA actually mentioned this in their report to the government. They outwardly said that the slaughterhouses are their weak spot. So the gas chambers particularly. So thank you everyone for coming today. Thank you everyone for raising awareness. Thank you for everyone for being slightly uncomfortable for a few hours to do the right thing and to raise, there's not many activists actually. There are very few. Um, there are a lot of vegans, but not many who uh, would come out and be active. So it's not a, actually a small thing for you to be out here. Otherwise there would be 2000 people here right now. You know, I'm quite a well-known activist and you know, we can only gather as, the, you know, so that, that actually shows that, you know, you being here is actually a big deal. So you should be proud of yourself for turning up. And I'm not just saying that actually to make you feel good. I'm actually legitimately, objectively saying it because we don't have numbers and it's really hard to drag people out. And um, so, but you know, a small group of people can make a massive impact. You know, one person can make a huge headache for massive industries if you're determined enough and you actually follow through with your ideas and you have courage and you, and you execute on them.
So don't ever think that you're not, you're not, you're not, that you're not powerful enough to make an impact. Because if I, you know, any activist believed that, then nothing would ever change. So, um, yeah, thank you all for coming. <laughs>